my dream desk setup. I spend hours editing my YouTube videos and it can get really uncomfortable when I'm like hunched over staring at this little laptop screen. I also just started my junior year of college, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of schoolwork as well. So I wanted to upgrade and get a Mac, but I didn't have a place to put it. I needed a desk. So I got the cheapest, smallest one I could find to see if it would work well in my space. And if it didn't, I would return it, not get a Mac, and just keep editing uncomfortably on my laptop. So keep watching to find out if I was able to create my dream desk setup. Even though you could see the title, the thumbnail, and this video would probably not be uploaded if it didn't work out. But just pretend you have no idea. Let's get started. For this being such a small desk, it is so heavy. So this is what the desk is gonna look like when it's done. It's just white. I got it from Target. It was on sale for $30. I think it was originally like 40. So this was like the cheapest desk that I could find because I just wanted something super small, super simple. I don't even know if I'm gonna keep this. So I just wanted to get like the most basic thing possible. I really wish my dad was here right now to build this for me, even though it's probably super simple, but whatever. Okay, I'm gonna move over here so I can have more room to lay everything out. Okay, the desk is all done. Here's what it looks like. I think it looks really cute. Like I said, it's just super small. This is just exactly what I needed because really all I want to put on it is a desktop and that is it. So I'm going to move this to my room, but I'll probably wait until Rachel gets home to fully be able to see what it's going to look like because I am going to have to move my bed. So yeah, let's move it to my room. Okay, so this is the spot that it would be in. Don't mind my bed, I'm currently washing my bedding. But honestly, this is super busy. My bed would be moved over like slightly. So basically my plan is to center the bed between these two windows. I would basically only be moving it over like six inches so that it's centered with the windows and that gives me a little bit more room right here to put a chair and leave some space for the desk. But it's barely gonna be moved over at all and look how crammed it is. Honestly, it's kind of just looking like either I return the desk or I. I could try putting it in the living room, but I just don't feel like there's a great spot for it. But since I've already built the desk, I wanna try looking again because I really don't want to have to return it. So I guess we're gonna see if it'll look good in the living room. So first of all, I'm gonna show you the living room. I'll do like a super mini tour because I am gonna do an apartment tour soon, but we have our little dining table over here, mirror, couch, here is the rug and the coffee table. We have the entertainment center. We're still figuring out like this half of the room, obviously. Here is where the desk would go. I actually think it looks really good. I do really like it. It'll obviously be much better once it's like done, once there's a Mac on it and a fun chair. Also, please don't mind how disheveled I look right now. I probably would have gotten ready more if I realized how much I was going to be on camera today. But yeah, that's the desk setup so far. I'll see if Rachel likes it when she gets home. And if she does, then the desk is here to stay. Okay, it's the next day. Here's a very quick desk update. You guys are on it right now. Sorry if you can hear the air. It is so hot. So Rachel likes it. I did order a chair for it. That chair is coming on Tuesday, but I decided to go with a colorful chair. This one is from Walmart, so it's just green and it has gold legs. I also ordered a lamp. I've been wanting this one from Ikea for a while. This one is pretty popular. You guys have probably seen it before. I think it's also getting here on Tuesday. This is what it looks like. It's just really small and simple. And this morning, I made the big purchase. I ordered the mat. I'm getting just the 24-inch one, the one that comes in like a bunch of different colors. My heart was telling me to get the green, but my brain was telling me to get the silver because I can't cannot commit to buying a colorful Mac that's gonna last me like years. Like what if I get sick of green? I kind of just want something neutral. I'm too scared to go the colorful route with such a big purchase. So I decided that the chair would be the colorful thing. So got a silver Mac, which I'm very happy about. However, it is not getting here until end of August. I called and tried to see if there were any in stock, like in stores that I could just go get. Right now it is July 29th and it won't get here until I think August 22nd at the earliest, I'm pretty sure. At least it'll be here kind of in time for my classes. Cause I think my classes actually start on the 22nd. Wait, I didn't even realize that. So perfect timing, I guess. But yeah, that's the update. The orders are placed. There's a couple things that I need to get. I wanna get a little acrylic um, stand for the Mac. I need to get a mouse pad. And then I need to get stuff for this middle section of the desk that's just open. Of course, I'll update you guys as I go. But yeah, that's it. I'm so excited.
these little sparkling strawberry drinks from Trader Joe's are really good. I have some desk updates for you. I have made the decision to return the chair. It just does not work with this desk. You kind of have to be here and like actually sit at the desk to fully see what I mean, but it's just too big. You can't scoot in that far because the chair is too tall. I like sitting with my legs crossed and I also can't do that with this desk. And then also it came like this, like it's super wobbly. So I was just gonna get like a replacement part, but I decided to just return it and get a whole new chair because I realized that this is just too big and just a smaller chair with wheels would work so much better. And I am not about to spend a lot of money on a Mac just to not even wanna use it because the chair is uncomfortable. I really wanted to keep it just because it's so inconvenient to return, but this is the one that I'm thinking of getting instead. It's from Target, just this blue and gold chair. It's just so simple. Next update is I got a little lamp. Here it is. This is what the name of it is, in case you were wondering. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. It's just a little mushroom lamp. It's the perfect little size. Okay, so here is what the lamp looks like on. Actually, the fun part of this process. I have some decorations for my desk that have come in over the past few days that I wanted to show you guys. But before I give you guys a little haul, I wanted to show you what I did with the cords around my desk. So I got a few things from the container store to help organize the cords. I got this extension cord and I have a little clip over here that you can barely see to kind of keep it in place so that it looks a little bit more neat. I have another one over here and then the actual like outlet part of it is on the back of my desk with some more little command hooks. And then I got these little cable wraps also from the container store. It came in a big pack of them to make sure the cords aren't like super long and getting in the way. And then this lamp is plugged into the extension cord that's on the back of the desk. So basically it's only gonna look like there's one cord. I basically just wanted to make sure that it looked super clean and organized because this is the living room. It is a shared space and it's where guests would probably hang out when they come over. So I wanna be conscious of that and make sure that it actually looks nice. Now I wanna show you guys everything that I got. So first I got this candle. This is from Amazon. It smells really good. The scent is cactus flower. I obviously ordered this because it's just cute. So I didn't get to smell it first. It was just more for decoration, but it's a win-win because it smells good too. And then I got a little acrylic stand for the computer. It is a little bit like wider than I thought it was gonna be, but I think it should be fine. If it's too big, I just won't use it. I also got a mouse pad. I forgot to say, but this is from Amazon. So it's pretty much everything in this haul. I got one with wrist support because comfort is my number one priority when it comes to this desk. Like you guys know, I just want a really comfortable editing space so that I feel more motivated to do it and I don't get like headaches, my back doesn't hurt, my neck doesn't hurt, my eyes don't hurt, stuff like that. And now my wrist won't hurt either. I also have these little crates. This is a pack of four. I've actually had these for a while, but I haven't had a use for them in my apartment yet. I use these in my dorm, but yeah, they're just foldable little crates and they're gonna fit perfectly in the little open part right here. So I figured this was a good way to add some color while also giving me like some storage. And then this is from Papier. This this is a weekly planner. And then I also have these two notepads also from Papier. And then this came in the mail today. This is a pillow that I got. I wasn't originally planning on having a pillow on my chair, but I've noticed myself needing like a tiny bit extra support there. I also wanted to save it to open on camera because it looks like it's gonna be really satisfying. And I wanted you guys to see as well. Okay, it's already expanded a little bit. Wow, that was not as satisfying as I thought. I thought it would like expand a little bit, but it really just didn't very wrinkly right now. Hopefully that fades. Let's see how it looks on the chair. Okay, that's cute. It'll probably just sit like that most of the time. And then when I'm actually using the chair, I'll probably like prop it up like right there. Today is the day. After several weeks of waiting, the Mac is finally coming in today and I can finally finish this video for you guys. I don't know what time it's coming in, obviously. It's like two o'clock right now and nothing's come yet, but hopefully it's soon because I really want to set this up for you guys. So while I'm waiting for the Mac to come in, I am going to decorate a little bit. I'm just going to make sure everything is ready so that when the Mac does get here, all I have to do is open it, put it on the desk, and it's like done. Also, you guys will see the whole like unboxing and setup process. I'm so excited. Anyways, let's get to decorating. This is all the stuff that I have. You guys already kind of saw a haul of this stuff, but basically I think that I wanna only use two baskets because I don't really know what I would put in like four. I don't really have enough stuff for all of that. So I'm gonna use the pink and the yellow because I already have a lot of blue and green going on, but I might 
might just stack them on top of the blue. So there's still like a little pop of color, but it's not just like in your face. I don't know. So I have a bunch of pens and highlighters. I even grabbed a bomb.com to put at my desk because I am always reapplying. So I have this pack of colorful pens. I just tested these out in my notebook. I'll show you guys. These are gonna go in here. Here's all the colors. These pens write so well. I'm actually very impressed. It's the first time I used them and these are gonna be like my new favorite pens now because they are so good and I forgot how fun it is to like write in colors. So whenever I'm doing my little weekly planner and stuff, I'm gonna start using colorful pens because it's so much more fun than just plain black ink. It reminds me of being in like middle school, color coordinating everything. And then I'm also gonna add in these mild liners. These are the best highlighters ever. So those are gonna go in there. Also, I grabbed one pencil. I don't ever really write in pencil, but I thought just in case I wanted to use it, I'll put that in there. And then of course my bomb.com. In the yellow basket, I'm gonna put my hard drive, my little pouch that I have my SD cards in and the SD card adapter. This is a coin purse from Brandy Melville. And then this little charm is from Wildflower Cases. Okay, that's pretty much everything I need in these little baskets. These are gonna go right here. I have a couple notebooks and this weekly planner. So maybe I'll put those over here and like stack them up. Okay, I actually decided to turn them sideways so that you could see the spines. And then for these two notepads, I'm gonna put them in the middle like this. And then this coaster and the candle will just sit right here. And then I'll eventually move the little acrylic stand and the mouse pad onto the desk when the computer gets here. So yeah, it's all decorated and ready for the computer. So I will see you guys when that gets here. Okay, so I saw a TikTok about this. I'm gonna look up screensavers for Mac. And then it's this top one. The website is gridfeedy.com. Okay, there's a bunch of cute ones on here. I really want this yellow color. I don't know if you guys can see that. This one right here, but I think it costs money. I'm gonna see how much it costs. Okay, it's $5. That is not worth it. I'll just get the free one. So I added it to my cart and I have to fill in some information and it just downloaded. So I'm gonna go to my settings and screensaver. And then you just set it to this one. And this is what it looks like. I am obsessed with this screensaver. I'll put the link to download it in the description. I think that's it. Desk setup is finally complete after like a month of waiting. I cannot wait to edit all my videos here and do schoolwork. It's gonna be so motivating. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye.